Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. <clears throat> Candy's Cozy Couch. I gotta find a theme song. Y'all help me out with that. Anyway, my name is Candace. Mm -hmm. And my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really tremendous name. It's tremendous. Candy's Cozy Couch. Uh, my rhino agrees. All right. Well, let's get the checklist going. Hold on. I'm changing the instrument Look, on behalf of all the little tots. On behalf of all the little ones that are now exploring the sounds of the piano and the xylophone. Oh, no. I'm going to use only one of them, though, because I'm going to multitask. One hand going to do the keys and the other hand going to do. Um, I'm just going to take the tongue and hit are right, y'all ready? I know you can't see it all, but you're going to see a little bit. Here we go. Yes, hold on. I can't tell if you heard both of them, so... Sounded pretty good, didn't it? It did. So I'm trying to mimic each each one. Yeah. What? Ooh, I messed up a little bit on that one. I thought I went up further. Okay. Oh, Lord. Uh, whatever. Oh, terrible. I can't do it on my left. Jeez. Got okay, brought it back. Yeah, it was easier that way. <laughs> all right, all right. I hear y'all out there. Y'all out there in YouTube land. Like, if you don't put that mess down. I know I'm being equally as annoying as the children that are exploring the instrument when they're exploring the instrument, which is usually at the worst time when the parents are like, no. Yes, but seriously, try out the instrument. It'll bless your life. Anyway, checklist time. Checklist time. <clears throat> here we go. I gotta get the better. I gotta get together here. I gotta do better here. I gotta do better. All right, here we go. Did you have a tremendous day? How about that? Did you do something fun and exciting and new and different and unique and fantastic and all of that good stuff? Memorable. You know, you gotta make sure it's here. All right, did you eat dinner? Are your belly satisfied and full? Yeah, did you burp and poop and maybe even boo-boo? I'm just saying. TMI, it might be. But I'm saying, yeah, it's part of your end, end of day. You know, we got to get it done. And in, in that dinner time, I hope you had a conversation with your family. Hope you guys talked about how the day was, how you felt in this day. Love for each other. Compliment each other. Criticize if you have to, but compliment for the most part. Love on each other, talk to each other, say what needs to be said during dinner time. All right, did you do your homework? Your homework. Did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Did you do your academic practice? Are you smart up here? Yes, yes, you are. Now turn that paperwork in to your teacher the next day. Don't be forgetting because, you know, that's why I do it and then don't get credit for the effort. <clears throat> How about those PJs, boys and girls? Did you pick out some PJs that you're going to wear for tonight? Pick out your PJs. Yeah. And also pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow so that you're ahead of the game. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready because you're always ready. All right. Um, Did you take a bath or a shower? Are you fresh and clean from head to toe? Okay. And um, also dry off really well after you're done and make sure that you put on your lotion 
So your skin is soft and smooth. Now, don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to floss your teeth. Don't forget to rinse out your mouth and take approximately three minutes to do that whole task, two of it, dedicated <clears throat> to the teeth brushing. <clears throat> and then half of the minute left for your flossing, half of the minute for gargling and rinsing out your mouth, okay? And don't forget to clean your ears and your nose, bum, 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 bum. only the nose, only if you're really stuffed up and you're trying to clear your nasal sinuses or whatever. <clears throat> don't forget to wash your hair, brush your hair, comb your hair, do something with your hair, wrap it up, tie it up. You know, you want to make sure your hair is good too. Um, da, 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 da. Did you take your nighttime medicine or vitamin? Only if it applies to you. And make sure that your parents supervise with that. And plus, do not forget it. Do not forget it. The medicine and the vitamins need to be able to work. So you have to be consistent with how it's taken. So try to make sure that you remember until, it, you know, you're cleared to not take it. All right. Um. Oh, let's see. What else? Take one last opportunity to pee or pee, pee or poo. Boo boo or pee pee. Feed the toilet, as I say. Okay. One last time, because what you don't want to do is have to get up in the middle of the night interrupting your dream, which is the best part of sleeping. I'm just saying. Um, make sure that you turn on your night light though, just in case, so that you can light the way to get around if you need to. And of course, we need to read a book, read a book, somebody read a book or have a book read to them. Okay, that's you and I got you and I'm going to work it out because that's what we're doing. It's literacy month. So yes, it's what we're doing in March. We're reading some books now. Okay, now get yourself together. After all that said and done, do you... Love your family. I'm sure you do. So did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members, your loved ones, the pets in the house one last time before everybody goes to bed? Please do that. That's important. You know what else is important? Once you get in bed, all oh, snug as a bug in the rug, all oh, tucked in under your blankies and cuddle buddies all hugged up. You got your cuddle buddy? See my newest one here, Rhino. He is out here representing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh poking me with these horns here but that's okay um make sure that you say your prayers please say your prayers before you drift off to dreamland now i think we covered everything check 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 it check 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 it check hold up i think i didn't ask if y'all did y'all chores <gasps> oh lord make sure you do your chores help out around the house but most importantly do not go to bed Without cleaning your room. Because you don't want to go to bed in a messy room. Because that will make your dream messy. You wonder why you tripping and falling over stuff. And stumbling and can't find what you're looking for. And just all kind of confusion in your dream. And when you realize when you wake up. Dang I didn't clean my room. See that will creep into your dream. So make sure you, you clean your room. Now I can officially check it off. Start all over. Check, 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 check it. Check, check. Flip it over and I said check, 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 check it. Check, check. I'm done. Yay, it's time for our story. Woo, it's literacy one. I mentioned that already. Yes, and one of my favorite authors is the whole Dr. Seuss thing. Dr. Seuss himself. You know, with all the different authors um, under his name and title and series and publishing and whatnot, I love me some Dr. Seuss books. So I have a I Can Read It All By Myself beginner book. And it is called Four Pups and a Worm. And this one is by Eric Seltzer. All right. That's a cat in the hat series. You see the cat in the hat. I have this hat, so I need to start wearing it. See that? Boom. That's the A. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, indeed. We got four pups and a worm. Ooh, we. This should be good. Let's see what we got. When you cannot tie your tie, no matter how you try, when your chopper will not fly, and you feel you want to cry, when your car begins to steam, and you're just about to scream, put, 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 and your mower starts to stall, when your grass is 10 feet tall, who are you going to call? That's a very good question. Who are we going to call? Is it going to be the Ghostbusters? Let me see. Call four pups and a worm. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. I did. I swear I did. But I would have called the Ghostbusters too. 
because I would have swore that it was a ghost messing everything up. Anyway. They tie, they fly, they tow, they mow. Those four pups and a worm. I'm just trying to figure out where the worm come from. That worm really representing. I would have never thought a worm was a part of this. AJ sings. Ooh, Rex can dance. Let's see. Give this party crew a chance. Okay. I say that's fair enough. Yes, we're going to call four pups and a worm. Not the Ghostbusters. Not the Ghostbusters. Digger knows dinosaurs. Rex knows trees. Goober, an expert on ticks and fleas. Okay, well, that's good to know. You know, information. You know, information people can use. There we go. They plant flowers. Cool, cool. They pick up litter. They'll even be your babysitter. Woo, that's what's up. You call four pups and a worm. Oh, you know what? That's better than two men in a truck. By the way, two men in a truck actually move stuff. So if you're moving, you use two men in a truck. Not four pups and a worm. It might not quite work out. If you need a bubble bath and are down to your last bubble, mm -hmm, call four pups and a worm. Delivering bubbles is no trouble. Well, that's good to know because y'all need them now. Them baths and showers we were talking about, but the baths for the bubbles. Yeah, you need them for the baths. Mm -hmm. Are they up to any task? Here's what folks will often ask. Can they help me dry my toes? Yes. And also blow your nose. Ooh, they're quite helpful. How are they at scratching backs? Ooh, I need to know that one. Good. And Rex can play the sax. Nice. So while scratching my back, Rex will play the sax. Nice, because I can't reach that one little spot in the middle of my back. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. How are they at zipping zippers? Ooh, they zip up and down those little nippers. Any good at fixing leaks, leaks and creaks and even squeaks? Okay, they talented. All right, we might have to call them. Especially around here in this apartment. Ooh, let me hush. Let me hush. Who cleans? Who no, who sews? Mm -hmm. Who'll rub your toes? Oh, my goodness. Not a goat and seven crows. Goodness knows. Okay, so the goats and the seven crows will not be rubbing your toes. All right, that's good to know. But four pups and a worm will. Mm-hmm. If a pet frog sounds like fun, would three cats and a slug lend you one? Never, no, never. They're just not that clever. Call four pups and a worm. They lend frogs. They do a lot. Boy, this is a public service announcement. This is a sales pitch for this, this crew right here. <clears throat> Charm worm handles every call winter spring summer fall one day a call came in to sherm <clears throat> a call that made the poor worm squirm now we know the worm's name is sherm okay and i wonder why the call made him squirm i wonder why that happened hmm. did ernie johnson scrape his knee did shirley chicken spill her tea uh-oh What's going on in these streets? Woo-wee. Did Bernice B. slip in the shower? No, she got stuffed up in a flower. Woo-wee. What is we gonna do? I don't know. Let me see. Help, she cried. I'm stuck up here. Get me out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. But I want to know is how, how she stuck. How? How are you stuck? So Rex got out the four pups ladder. In seven minutes, our team got at her. Okay, that's cool. They was on task. 
They were first responders indeed. Bernice was so happy, she offered them money. But the pups and Sherm said, pay us with honey. Ah, I don't want those stinky money. You better pay them with some honey. Ooh-wee. So remember, if you like a piece of candy, but there isn't any handy, don't call eight pigs and a bat. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Call four pups and a worm. All right. We have our marching orders. We know who to call. Ghostbusters. Okay, maybe not Ghostbusters. Man, I've been wanting to call the Ghostbusters the whole time. They like to help, and that is why they hope you'll give their team a try. I think that's a very good idea. Give them a try. Four pups and a worm. Yeah, I need some things fixed around here. Goodbye, and don't forget to call four pups and a worm. Four pups and a worm. Four pups and a worm. Don't forget to call four pups and a worm. Four pups and a worm. Oh, yeah. And that's the end. All right. Well, boys and girls, we know who we going to call. Ghostbusters. Okay, maybe not Ghostbusters. Candace, cut it out. All right. Four pups and a worm. That's what we call them. And we're going to call them in our dreams tonight. How about that? And see what they can fix. Yes, because they apparently they're pretty good. Anyway, boys and girls, the rhino said, how about you call like two dolphins, uh, three dinosaurs and a rhino? And I'm like, I didn't even know it was that. I, really? Okay. Anyway, boys and girls, yeah, we could have some fun with that, couldn't we? Creating funny little um, maintenance, moving, handy dandy teams of random things and people and animals that combine that doesn't seem like they go together because four pups and a worm i don't know but there you go <laughs> well you know what time it is I've, I've wasted enough of your time get in bed you in bed already i knew that all right get comfy cozy snug as a bug in the rug you probably there already too that is awesome good that's where you need to be now go ahead and close your eyes and Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Shh. You dream that you're your own handy dandy company. That you come and help out people in all kinds of different reasons why they need help. That's up to you. But allow your body to relax and just go limp. Shoot. Relax. Go to sleep. Let yourself go to sleep so that you can drift off into dreamland and dream your special dream. Are you ready? On oh, your mark. Get set. You can do it. I bet. Go. See you next time.